Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another exciting tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to talk about GitHub pages and uh, we will see how we can host our static website on GitHub pages. So this will be a very exciting tutorial where we will be covering the whole step by step process and this will be a starting tutorial on GitHub pages so we are going to talk about what is GitHub pages, how does it work and how we can create our you know, first uh, website using the github page right so basic requirement is like you should have a github uh, account where you should be able to log in and you should be able to push your code and we will see how what are the configuration and we are going to start from the uh, real basic so we are going to start like you know uh, how we can uh, publish uh, uh, a website like this into our github and then we will see how we can uh, convert that or host into your github page right so we will start from basic how we can write this code and you know uh, how to push it to github and if you don't know about uh, github and the git commands you have to check you know my tutorial on git where you'll be able to learn you know uh, how to use git commands and how to push it to github how we can uh, use those commands uh, for uh, commit and all those things okay so let's get started so uh, so I'm inside my uh, GitHub. So this GitHub repository I've shared with uh, you know, all of you in my previous tutorials. You can see a lot of repositories here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new repository. Okay, and we're going to name it uh, as a test uh, GitHub pages. So let me write as test GitHub pages. So that's, uh, that's the name I'm going to give and I'm going to write some description. This is a, a test uh, GitHub page site okay so that's just uh, and this I'm uh, creating it as a public you can also create a uh, private it, it's up to you and I'm going to add just a readme file so that you know, it's not a blank uh, you know, uh, repository so I'm just going to create it so now you can see it has just created a readme text file where I just typed uh, this is a github uh, page site right test github page site now what we need to do is we need to uh, you know, create our code and push it to this uh, github repository right so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to clone this site so i'm um, inside my computer and i'm inside you know the c drive so i'm going to go to my uh, folder called uh, github uh, projects okay so i'm inside that project and I'm, I'm going to clone uh, this project okay so it's cloning uh, this GitHub repository uh, into my site. So now we can see I have uh, one folder called test GitHub pages. So I'm going to go into that. So you can see I'm in the main branch, right? So if you want to create a you know, feature branch, those kind of thing, you can do it. But I, I'm going to work on the main branch itself. So now we don't have any other files except the readme.mt, uh, right? That's the readme file. Now what I want to do is I'm going to create uh, you know, the, our HTML and CSS and other code. So let me start with the simple HTML. So I'm going to use our code editor. So I'm going to use visual uh, code. So I'm going to open that. So I'm inside the code editor. So you can see, you know, I, it's, I only have a readme.md file, right? So I'm just going to add a file called index.html. So and I'm going to paste the sample code here, okay? So I'll just uh, remove some of the content which because I don't want to use the C, you know, CSS uh, at this point, I'll show you how. So I'm just adding a simple template, okay? So there are a few uh, content like logo dot, uh, PNG and stuff which I'm not going to add it at this point. So what I, uh, it's a, a basic uh, template or you know skeleton of uh, simple HTML where it will have some kind of uh, you know, headings, you know, the class, uh, and uh, some text boxes and all those things okay so I'm just going to add this and you know uh, if I go back to my you know uh, the git and if I go and check you have one index.html right and if I open uh, our index.html this is how the page will look like it has some you know it, uh, headings and you know uh, the content which we have put there is a search bar now we have not uh, arranged or given uh, the styling for it that's why it looks like this so but you know uh, once I give the styling it should look like this with the logos and stuff but you know I will start uh, with this simple template for now and uh, what I want to show you is like you now if I go to uh, get uh, status you can see you know there is a file which is not committed right so what I want to do is I, I want to add that so git add so if you don't know all these commands you know you have to uh, check my git uh, tutorial so you can see so now if I go to git status 
you can see it it is in the stage uh, file but it, it uh, we have not committed it right the changes to be committed so i can git commit and uh, now hyphen uh, I, I will add the command right and the command uh, i will give it as initial commit now uh, what it says is you know you need to have uh, s uh, the configuration because you know i have not configured my email and uh, those things for the git because of that it is not able to commit or push it to your main branch so i, I have to do that so you can use this configuration and you can put your email address or you can change it in the config file for your project alone okay so let me change that first so i have made some changes and i'm going to commit again so now you can see it has uh, committed uh, our changes to the uh, file right so it is committed now and now i want to push it so i'm going to use git push okay i new origin and it's main now because uh, there is no more master branch so it's the main branch so i'm going to use that okay so let me push it so now you can see it has pushed uh, the content into my github page right so if i go back and if i refresh my page we should see i am able to see a file called index.html right and if i go back you should be able to see the content i just pushed it here now uh, we have a base uh, repository right so uh, this is the base repository now what we are going to use this we are going to convert uh, this repository into a github uh, page right where we can access this index dot file so what you need to do is like in this repository you should have an option called settings so you go back to the settings where you will see the repository name and those kind of information on the left side you will have uh, no options called pages right so you click on the pages and now you can see the uh, options like build and deploy from uh, branch now since we have our uh, you know the content on the main branch i'm going to use the main and we are going to keep you know the files into the root only okay so i'm going to save this so once you save this you know what happens is like you know it will start building you know the github now you can see there is a, a github workflow right it's a github actions it already initiated a page build and deployment now you can see you know it started the uh, building and uh, it will show you tell us you know once the deployment is completed so we have to wait for this to be completed you can see the status is in progress so let's wait now you can see the build is completed and you know the report build status is completed and the deployment is in progress so we need to wait for the deployment to be completed and now you can it has given a web link as well right now if i go back to my settings and uh, i go back to the pages you can see the link is also up here right now if i can open this page directly now so if i go back you can see the web page you know is uh, available here right whichever we publish in the html it's open up here so it's pretty simple right you push your code and you just uh, use that into main branch uh, if you want to use some other branch then you can uh, keep create those branch branches into your repository and you can set that as your branch where you will push your changes to your website and it will automatically uh, update it here now you can see this name is based on our repository or our user account right and uh, this will come from your user account dot github dot io and then the repository name you can also have custom domain you can see you can also set your uh, custom domain uh, you know where uh, you want to set this here so that you can go through this okay and uh, as i mentioned you know uh, there is also documentation for github.com where you can see what is github pages and you know uh, uh, what all things you can do like how we can whatever we told like how to create a repository uh, using github and you know how you can push it so whatever i showed and all those uh, documentation here and you can also see like about the github pages you can see it's used to host the website right and uh, mainly it's uh, well, as i mentioned it's for static website like html css and javascript and you can also set you know the custom domain name so you can refer this documentation how to uh, set up your custom domain now what we want to do is like you know um, uh, now we publish this page right and i want to add more uh, uh, css styling and all those things into this so what i will go, go do is like i will go back to my repository okay and uh, i will create a new file okay and uh, i will add it's called uh, styles.css okay so i'm going to add that con uh, styling here so i have a template for it like i'm going to add uh, different uh, 
styling to our index.html so now what i want to do is that style i have to uh, put it or map it here so what i will do is i will add that uh, style sheet over here so you can see uh, i'm referring this styles.css file so it should be here styles.css so i'm referring that over here now uh, once i refer that uh, it should be changing our you know the styles for it and also what I want to do is I also want to add these uh, files called logo.png and uh, also there is also one more file uh, for uh, which is uh, for uh, image so let me see where that so you can see there is one more file called img.png so I want to add those two files also into this so I will add those into the uh, repository folder so I will go directly and I will add those uh, files so it can be any uh, logo and the image you want but it should be in the name like logo and image you don't need to specifically mention dot png because it takes automatically the type here so that will be taken okay now if I go back to my repository you can see the image dot png styles dot css logo dot png everything is uh, uh, here right now I'll go back to my git and let me clear on the screen and if I say git status uh, you can see there are th uh, no uh, the index file is modified at these fields. so there are a lot of changes to be done and if I go back to my you know uh, actual uh, repository uh, the test githubs you, you cannot see those things and also the index you know it does not have the styling and all those things so we need to uh, push those changes over here so I will go back and uh, what I will do is git add the changes so it will add then I will do git commit and hyphen up this is the updates Okay, so I will add that so it's, it has added and I will add git push hyphen u. So now uh, I'm pushing these changes to the main repository. Okay, so if you, as I mentioned, if you, do, if you don't want to push it to main, you can create branch and you can push that as well. Now if I go back to my repository and if I uh, uh, refresh it, those files are here. And uh, if I go back to my action, you can see now it has automatically I started a new build because we updated our main branch and it's starting to build our changes into it so now we have to wait uh, for this build to be completed so that in you know, our uh, web page will be automatically updated with these uh, changes in our previous uh, tutorial on github workflow we spoke about the actions and the workflows and jobs uh, all those things so uh, this is the default job from uh, the github pages but we spoke about in the previous tutorial how you can create all those things so you can have a look on that as well which i will link into the video descriptions now all this uh, process is completed now if i go and refresh my main you know the github uh, page you can see it has updated completely right so it has all taken the styling it has taken the logo so you can see all those changes are updated and it's pretty simple right now if you want to change your uh, web page you keep uh, updating in your repository and you just push it it will automatically update your page so it, it it's that simple so the github give you the complete flexibility to uh, you know uh, host your website completely for free and it, it's it's that it's pretty easy as well you just need to push your code into the github and just setting do the setting for your github page right so you will get a web page and you can start uh, pushing your content into it so that's you know it's pretty simple on that part right so if you have any questions on this please uh, uh, put it, your comments into the video description uh, video comments so i can uh, uh, you know respond you back on helping if you have any questions or any issues on that and also i'll put all the reference link into the video descriptions and also also this github repository so you can refer it there and you can uh, you know get all this uh, necessary information and uh, taking the template or you can uh, fork this uh, repository and you can make use of it for learning uh, all those things you can do it uh, from this repository and follow my you know uh, repositories and channels so you, you'll get more information on that so that is all uh, for this tutorial on how to host a website using github pages and i'm sure this will be uh, very useful for you if you are not aware about how to use this so before i conclude i would uh, like to request you like if you like to see more videos from me uh, click on the subscribe button and also like my videos share give your uh, you know, comments in the feedback you, you give your feedback in the comment section where i can respond you back and you know also like uh, share uh, give it, you know respond share it with your friends so that you know they can also get help from these uh, videos so thank you for watching and uh, i really appreciate uh, the support you are giving to me 
and uh, no, uh, let's learn together and uh, achieve uh, new milestones uh, on new technologies and uh, new topics okay